I've spent a lot of time during the past months at my desk with uh, consequent effects on my, on my strength and confidence, particularly for pirouettes. And here we are also in limited spaces and perhaps with unsuitable floors on which it's quite hard to turn. So it feels like it might be a very good time to really go back to some basics and build up strength from, from the beginning, remind ourselves of some, of some rather fundamental things. So we're going to do a very simple little sequence to prepare for pirouette en dehors from the fifth. And um, I'm going to show it to you and the points I think will emerge as we do it. So we're going to start en face with the right foot in front. And we take a tendu to the side. We close it in front, bringing that arm across. And we plie and we're going to do a little rubbe with a quarter turn to take us to face the side. Ah. From here, facing the side, we're going to do the same thing. So we tidy to the side, we close in front, we plie and turn to the back and come down. And we don't change the feet here, we keep them in front. But now we're going to do a half turn and here we will change the foot. We put it at the back. So we go to the side, close in front, plie, half turn, close behind, and then on the croise, tidy back, opening the arms. Preparation in a little bit of plie in fourth, and a single turn on the off. Closing fifth back. And from here, from this croise, we can then open this shoulder to take us on first, and we do it on the left. So point, closing front. And here, I think it's really helpful to close here and make sure you do a good demi-plie on both feet so that your pirouette comes out of, out of both feet, out of, out of the floor. So we have tendu, close, here's our quarter turn to the left, and up, closing in the front. Tendu, close, and up, to the back, closing in front. Here's our half turn, one, two, plie, half turn, close behind, Croise, and then we open, prepare, little demi plie fourth, single turn, close behind. And then we repeat it again. And so one of the points was that thing about coming out of the pirouette, going up, out from both feet. So this, so you're not just on this leg, this one is, is engaged in the floor as well to give you a dynamic here and there. The other thing, when we come down, so if we go up to our position, it's very good to try and come down through the fifth there, so that we avoid falling off our aplombs, stepping to the side, but rather think about going up and down. And also, here, that as we put that foot down, the body keeps going up. That way we can control our landing. So, if you're worried about your floor and you can't turn easily, you could do, the, you could do this with, without the releve, just on the flat. So I think we could do one, two, plie, and just turn, because the turn is coming from this shoulder. And down. Uh, one, two, and opening the shoulder. That's what's going to turn you. And one, two, coming round here, up, down, and then you might want to just do a relevé instead of the pirouette, again, depending what floor you've got. So, let's do this. And I think it's something we could repeat as much as we want. So, the first time, I'm going to do it both sides with the flat foot. Then I'm going to repeat it with a relevé and then you can carry on as much as you like. And if you feel confident in your floor permits you, you might want to do a double at the end. Okay, so we have a lovely, sprightly 
Optimistic Polka by Godofsky and it's played by Gavin Meredith. And we've got seven and an eight into this. <laughs> a little medicinal exercise to do daily until you feel much stronger. 